My number one favorite fitness YouTuber in the entire community is, drum roll please. What is up guys, Max K here, and today we are gonna be going over my top five favorite YouTubers in the health and fitness space. So to begin, we're gonna start in reverse order and we'll begin with number five. So my fifth favorite a YouTuber in the health and fitness space would be Ryan Russo. So Russo is basically a guy who's about the same age as me. He uh, started out as a really skinny kid, a marathon runner, and basically a twig, right? And through a self-experimentation with diet, training, and PED use, he basically transformed himself into a full-blown bodybuilder. Now, just like me, he also struggles with bloating and water retention as he bulks and that's something that's really cool and relatable to me because I'm the same way so I have to be very careful with my carbs and water intake and things like that as I'm bulking in order to keep a somewhat dry and lean appearance even if my body fat is not actually that high now Russo is great because he provides a lot of very high quality information he's very very transparent and he talks about both the negatives and the positives that every decision he makes whether it be related to training diet or PED use or supplementation he's also very very knowledgeable about the medical literature and research on basically every topic he covers, which is always very important. So that's Rousseau. I totally recommend you go check out his channel. I'll be linking it in the description below. Huge fan of his content, huge fan of his channel, and I've been following him for about, I've been following him for years, to be honest with you, maybe even like four or five years at this point. He was one of the first YouTubers I discovered when I first began my fitness journey about five years ago. So huge shout out to Rousseau. Keep it up, man. I've been a long time fan since the old days, and I've seen your channel get taken down multiple times. Keep it up, man. Never give up. You're gonna be big one day. So my fourth favorite health and fitness YouTuber, I would say, is a guy by the name of Leo on longevity. Now, in terms of health, I would put Leo as number one, undisputed. Leo's channel, Leo on longevity, is an absolute goldmine when it comes to diet, nutrition, and a bit of PED information when it comes to longevity, health, and wellness, and things like that nature. Leo knows such a vast amount of information ranging on a variety of different topics, and if you are at all considering learning more about the science behind nutrition, health, and longevity, I cannot recommend anyone to you more than Leo. He's a fantastic researcher. He delivers complex topics in a very simple and easy to understand way for laymen. And he's an all around great guy. He's a really nice principled guy. Not a bad bone in that man's body. I totally recommend you check out Leo's channel as well. He also does consults one-on-one -on -one and can give you personalized recommendations to improve your life and lifestyle and health if you do a consult with him. So I totally recommend Leo's channel and I will link him in the description below as well. So now we're getting to the top three here. My third third favorite YouTuber, and this one's gonna be very controversial, and I have personal reasons for this choice. So my third favorite fitness YouTuber is Greg Doucette. Now, before everybody freaks out, gets angry, and dislikes the video, I have a very particular reason for this. My whole life, especially in fitness, uh, but my whole life in general, I struggled with maintaining a low body fat percentage. I would yo-yo diet between heavy bulking and super hard cutting, which is not healthy and not sustainable and ultimately gave worse results. However, it wasn't until I discovered Greg Doucette, which I discovered several years ago when he was still a small channel, where I really started learning about diet, diet hacks, tricks to really help keep a lean body fat percentage and also it wasn't until I learned about Greg that I really discovered and embraced the concept of main gaining so most of the time back in the day I was taught eat big to get big and then it was time to cut it was time to cut you know you starve yourself you do cardio you shred as fast as you possibly can to get ready for summer and then when it's bulking time it's winter you throw on the hoodie you eat like a pig you get huge and then repeat every year and it wasn't until I discovered Greg you said that I realized that that's not the most productive way to go you know you see these bodybuilders shoveling tons and tons of food in their face but the reality of the situation is these these guys are actually still very lean. The reason they're shoveling so much food in their face is they have so much mass on their body, their metabolisms are so high. They have to eat that much food in order to stay that size and not to lose muscle just by being that big walking around. So that's what people don't understand when they bulk up like crazy. They think they see these huge guys doing it and they think that that's how they got huge. But the reality is that's not how they got huge. They yes, they ate in a surplus, but they didn't eat in a thousand calorie surplus. They didn't stuff themselves sick every meal at the beginning because their metabolisms wouldn't have been able to support that. So as you gain muscle tissue, your metabolism increases proportionately that's why these guys are still lean even though they're eating like 5,000 calories a day you know so Greg really enlightened me and made me realize about man gaining staying somewhat lean and I'm not saying shredded but staying somewhat lean as you put on size makes the cutting process way easier it makes you feel better you're less out of breath your workouts are better your quality of life is all around better you know he also advocates doing regular cardio which is something that when I incorporated it into my life I was able to eat more still stay lean I was able to do more intense workouts which helped me put on more muscle and 
And once again, the diet hacks really were a lifesaver. I do own Greg's cookbook and I don't eat every meal from there, but I take the concepts from his cookbook and incorporate them in my own recipes. It's all about substitutions, finding very low calorie alternatives to the foods that you regularly eat. Filling up on things that what he calls low calorie dense foods, foods with very low amount of calories, but fill up your stomach and make you feel full, make your hunger not there. So I have to thank Greg so much for that because he really did change my life and I would not be where I am today if it wasn't for learning about Greg uh, and his diet practices. So thank you, Greg. So now we're at number two. So my number two favorite fitness YouTuber, rest in peace, is John Meadows. I learned a lot about training methodologies from John Meadows. John Meadows was, if you don't know, he was a IFBB pro bodybuilder. It took him a very long time to do so. He's a very knowledgeable guy when it comes to training, training methodologies, and diet and nutrition as well. But I primarily focused on learning from John Meadows when it comes to training. I have never really seen anybody have a problem with anything he said. Long story short, if you want to learn more about training as a bodybuilder, putting on size in the most efficient way possible, preventing injuries, and doing it safely and healthily, I would very much recommend following and watching John Meadows' content. Unfortunately, he passed away about a year ago and it shook the whole bodybuilding world. Everybody loved that man. It was a tremendous loss to the community. So rest in peace, John Meadows. Thank you so much for contributing to the community the way you did for so many years and you'll be missed. So lastly, but certainly not least, my number one favorite, and this is probably pretty easy to predict, my number one favorite fitness YouTuber in the entire community is, drum roll please, Derek from More Plates, More Dates. Yes, Derek from More Plates, More Dates. I have been watching him for, geez, I've been watching him since he had like 19 or maybe even like 15,000 subscribers. I've had conversations with him over DMs years ago when he wasn't super well known. I've watched his channel progress from, you know, the Delt Lord back in the day when he was a little bit more awkward and had a horrible camera set up. You know, I've watched him progress from those days all the way to the super mainstream popular drama covering channel he is today. And I don't say drama covering as an insult. He actually cleverly weaves in high quality scientific information into drama related posts, which is a very smart tactic he uses. Derek is a very intelligent man and I've learned a lot not just about diet nutrition training hair loss health everything from him but also I've learned a lot about social media from him because sometimes he talks about when he goes on other podcasts sometimes he talks to other influencers about social media growth and stuff like that and techniques like that so Derek's channel more plates more dates is basically a gold mine as well in terms of basically everything a bodybuilder would need if I could just follow one channel for the rest of my life in terms of learning knowledge not for entertainment of course but if I could just follow one educational channel for the rest of my life it would be Derek. His topics range such a broad scope, which is kind of, you know, I kind of kind of identify with that because my interests are very broad and diverse too. Like on my channel, I don't just cover fitness. I don't just cover health and nutrition and diet. I don't just cover social media stuff. I also talk about, you know, pick up men's fragrances, self-improvement. These are all topics that Derek also covers. So me, when I was younger and I first stumbled across his channel, I was like, wow, this guy is like a slightly older version of myself. This is amazing. So I was instantly hooked at the very beginning back when his content was more dry, I guess you could say, and purely scientific. I have a master's in biochemistry, so that's, he was speaking my language, essentially. So I was listening, I was absorbing, and then now I like also how he incorporates humor in the way that he explains things, you know? I can go on and on about how great Derek's channel is, but most of you probably already know that because he's so popular in the industry at this point, and rightly so, he absolutely deserves it. So thank you, Derek, for more plates, more dates. You also drastically changed my life. You taught me about harm mitigation. You taught me about efficiency. You've also given me some good product. I use his Gorilla Mo pre-workout every single day. I've used, back when I was in college, I used Gorilla Mind Rush to prepare for exams instead of Adderall. I use his Gorilla Youth Serum as one of my favorite skin products, believe it or not. I use Gorilla Dream every night before I go to sleep. I've used Camp PM. I, I just actually ordered some more Camp PM to help me curb my appetite and stay lean while I'm cutting and preparing for photo shoots. Basically, I've used almost every product they have to offer at this point, and I've never had a bad experience with any of his products. I always have my friends buying them. I've hooked up a lot of people. I'm not sponsored by them at all, guys. That would be a dream to be sponsored by them because that's my favorite brand period in the whole industry but I'm not sponsored by them I still would say all these things regardless whether they sponsor me or not because I'm being honest and truthful here his product line is by far the best in the industry and his channel is the best in the industry as well so thank you Derek for also changing my life and impacting it in such a positive way and yeah so that is my top five list of the best fitness health and longevity and self-improvement I suppose youtubers on the platform and I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys get a lot of benefit from these channels moving forward peace out